two, three, four. Meet Shark Bath. The band's been practicing here at this studio in the north of Paris every week for over a year, all under the watchful eye of Jason Domnarski. His Park Slope Rock School is home to more than a dozen young bands, and the program's international students appear to be big fans. I like doing it because it really puts my mind at work, and I, I think when I'm doing it, so I, I just like that feeling. If I had the choice between this, like I don't know playing soccer, I choose music. Jason brought the project over to Paris from his native Brooklyn, New York. Compared with France's traditional conservatoire programs, where the focus is more towards learning to read music and theory, here, students are encouraged to learn by playing and writing original material. I think one of the reasons that we're successful and that a lot of young families are, are bringing their kids to the school is that they're, they're looking for an alternative to that. And uh, I think there's, there's room for both. As a former professional musician himself, Jason's not sure about encouraging his pupils to become rock stars. For them to have a relationship with music that brings them joy, that's, the, that's all I can ask. I mean, whether or not they go on to be in the biggest bands in the world, uh, I have a few alumni that are, that are, you know, that are doing well, but for me the goal is to is to foster a relationship with music. Some of the students' parents are also pitching in, adding their own rock star credentials. Phoenix guitarist Christian Mats and I dropped by in January to put on a workshop. Next up, the turn of master lyricist and former pulp frontman Jarvis Cocker. He played the students the first song he ever wrote. I said, Shakespeare makes me sick. She said, alas, poor your rig. Although he doesn't think he'd have been able to attend the school himself. Just say, shut up, Grandad, what do you know? Knowledge is a funny thing. You only absorb it when you're ready for it. You can read things and you can be exposed to really profound truths and insights. But if you're more interested in football, it won't go in. It's, it's only when you need things that then you become receptive to them. So what is the one key lesson he wants to pass on to the students? My contention is that the words don't really matter that much, which is sad for a lyricist, which is what I am. A, a good song can survive having mediocre or even quite bad words, but you can't rescue a bad song with good words. A point Jarvis makes by getting the students to write a song along with him. Among the suggestions for lyrics, watching television and jumping on the couch. It doesn't seem to hurt the end result. I just had to show you what you would be missing by staying indoors staring at television. Oh, so come along and join me on the boulevard. Tonight. Park Slope's bands may need a bit of work before they're ready for the big time, but with professionals behind the scenes helping to guide their hand, they may just stand a better chance than most. <laughs>